Hey guys, it's Austin from TurboLab. In this video, I'm going to show you an Evo X GTX 3576R that I did an upgrade on. So originally this turbo was a Garrett GT 3076, which is 57 by 76 on the compressor. And then we upgraded that to the GTX 3076 compressor, which is 58 millimeter by 76. And then it has a much taller tip height of 7.72 millimeter. So to do this upgrade, I had to CNC the compressor housing, which is no problem. I already have, I already wrote the program and all that. And then, uh, of course, I had to swap out the wheel, rebalance the assembly, do a GT35R turbine, which is what makes it a 3576. And uh, so the turbine is 62.35 by uh, 68 millimeter versus the 3076 turbine, which is 55 by 60. And then, so yeah, I had to machine this compressor housing, and then I had to do the turbine housing. I'll go ahead and show that to you. So for the turbine housing, it has this really weird angle, and it's not the same as the OEM Mitsubishi ones. So I had to remake a plate for this, which most shops aren't really willing to do that, but I'm willing to do it, so I don't, you know, it's not a big deal to me. But yeah, so here's the plate I had to make, and you have to get the right angle on it to get, to get it angled properly so you can machine it properly so like I make custom plates like these and custom tools so I can actually do the work and I know a lot of people aren't willing to do that but here at TurboLab I'm willing to do it for you and it didn't cost this guy any money even though it cost me about six hours of my time just to make this but uh, now I can do this service for people that have a turbo like this so you can see the work I had to do to this. And this was actually one of the best plates that I ever made. As in, it lined up exactly perfect. It was not easy to make, but I was able to do it. So, so here's what it looks like on the exhaust side. Thanks for watching this video, and if you like turbos and like working on turbos and would like to learn more about how to do the things that I can do, please subscribe to my channel and I'll be happy to share that with you. For all the parts that I just showed you, I can link to them in the description box in case you're interested in taking a look at them and possibly purchasing them if you want. I'll go ahead and link to those for you.